people walk in. Right now, three times on Sunday at two different campuses. And when they come through those doors, they sit in one of these chairs. And many of them come with issues and worries and fears and hurts and concerns. And this week as I prayed for you, I couldn't get away from thinking about the people that come to church every weekend and sit in these chairs right here. And I asked God, I said, Lord, are we touching your people? Because regardless of what we do in the hour and 15 minutes or so we're here, if we haven't touched the person sitting in the chair, then hang it up. Shut the door. Turn the lights off. I don't know who's here today. But I'd like to pray for you. I don't know what you're sitting in your chair carrying with you today. There are some that are dealing with home life issues. And whether it's marriage issues or family concerns, parental concerns, getting along with your parents or parents getting along with your kids at any age. When you come to the house of God, you carry that in and you sit down in this chair and that's on your shoulders. It's on your life. I want to declare to you what Joshua said to his family. He said, look, you can have a lot of choices, but for me and my house, we choose to serve the Lord. And God help us to do that and help us through our issues that we're facing. Help us to overcome the challenges that are going on in family life today. If that's you, and you've come in here today, and you're not sure where to turn, I want you to know. Several times this week as I shared this thought with our staff and with Janet, my wife, and as I thought about you, I just began to weep over this chair. I prayed numerous times throughout the week. God, I don't know who's going to be sitting in this chair. But somehow you've got to touch them. I can't do it, but your Holy Spirit can Some of you are here today because of economic issues. Your finances are just really affected. Two-thirds of Americans today have lost half of their retirement in the last 12 months. We're in a major crisis. So you come in and you, you deal with that. The bills keep coming in every 30 days. The rent just keeps happening, you know, light bills and so on. And I want you to know I prayed for you this week. And you sit in this chair and it concerns me. There are others in the house that need healing and miracles in your lives. Whether it's healing from a broken heart or healing from a disease or a sickness. Last Sunday morning in the 9 o'clock service, they may be here today, I haven't seen them. But last Sunday morning in this service, I went out front welcoming people to church before service and a couple with their 15-year-old son walk in. I could tell something was on them. They stopped, came back and talked to me. As I greeted them, they went by and then a few moments later, I turned. The father was standing there looking like, help me. I turned and went back. It's been another week now since last Sunday morning, of course. The little mother walked out of the restroom and walked over to me. As soon as she walked up beside her husband and her 15-year-old son, tears began to run off her cheeks, just not running down, running off, just dripping as fast as they could trip. And she said, Pastor, I'm very angry at God today. 19 years ago today, I lost my 21-year-old son in a car accident. And I'm angry with God. And I went home and I wept for the Brewster family this week. I said, Lord, they're sitting in our chairs chairs that you've given us. So here's the point. I want to pray for people today. If, if any of these categories 
convinced where you are. I'm going to ask you to stand right now. Just stand where you are. If any of these categories that I've described fits where you're at, I want you to stand. I cannot work miracles, and I don't have all the answers, but I know somebody who does. And I want each of you to know that God is aware of where you are right now. You've been sitting in this chair on this Sunday morning. God says, I've taken time to speak to your pastor. He didn't call all of you by name to me. He didn't tell me all the situation, but that's okay. He's telling you right now. I know right where you're at. And I'm going to ask you to surrender to God and trust in Him. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him and He will direct your paths. God wants you to know He loves you. Would you just close your eyes where you're standing? And those of you seated, I'm going to ask you to join your faith with mine. Lord, we bring to you the heaviness of our heart right now. You see who is sitting in these chairs and who has stood in faith. And Father, as only a heavenly Father can do, I ask you to take us by the hand and guide us and lead us. Sometimes we cannot see the way. So we have to hold your hand. And you have to show us where to go. So today, we take another step with you. Today, our trust in you is established again. We lay our hurts down. We lay our heaviness down. God, you've got to give us peace. We look to you, Lord. What you began in us, you said you'd finish. So our hope is in you. And Lord, I pray for those who are in doubt right now because sometimes we do doubt. Sometimes we do face concerns. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let faith rise in our heart. Those who need a miracle, Lord, the unexplainable, the medical doctors and science cannot put an answer to you. Lord, bring that miracle in the name of Jesus. Lord, I heard about that one miracle of the woman this week that all the tumors are gone out of her body and they, they didn't know how she was going to recover. But I, I know that story just this week, Lord. Thank you for that. Lord, those that need healing in their hearts, healing in their minds, healing in their bodies. In the name of Jesus, Lord, restore. Father, take broken hearts and families and broken homes and challenges and issues. Lord, we just give them to you. Let angels be around our home. Let the Spirit of God rest in our houses, on our hearts, Lord. I speak peace over them in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray right now that our finances are going to be protected. You're going to take care of us even if we face challenges, you didn't say, God, that you'd keep us from these things. You just said you'd carry us through them. Lord, we trust in you right now. And maybe the good is, is we'll all learn to trust you more. And not in our own hands, but in the face of God we seek and trust. Lord, I pray for every person who's walking here today that sat in this chair. Let us know that you are God and let us know that you do care. Lord, we accept that right now because you've taken time out of this moment to talk to us personally and specifically. Bless us now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name.